Alright, welcome back to our YouTube channel everyone. So for today's video, and it's actually a very long time since I had made one. The last thing I do is like in the Zargates, but now we will be talking about the new R client CLI guide. So if you've been running a VPS uh, in Rivals to for their uh, for their our client nodes, our client AI, then this is a way, way more easier guide to set it up. Because uh, I've been running a VPS, but I've been using a um, Ubuntu that is like uh, I, I, I do set it up using remote desktop. So let's go. This is a very, very easy guide. So just as uh, like the normal one, you log in to your server, uh, to your contabo or your puri, your puri, sorry. So I did. Uh, I already. This one is a newly bought one from contabo, and we need to set up first. We need to make sure that uh, we had set up several nodes first. Oh, sorry. So we need to make sure that we had set up several nodes first before we run this npm guide. We need to make sure that we do have the Node.js version or yarn or npm. So I've got the the script in here or rather the command. So let's uh, run it. Uh, you, I'll be posting this command on the description so you'll just have to copy paste it anyways so this is a very very easy one so you update your sudo first yeah sometimes this takes quite a bit of a time and just now they had made an announcement for the rivals that they are going to be starting the epoch system the first epoch should be ending on july 10 so it's like tomorrow then a new epoch is gonna be starting like epoch 2 will be going together with uh yeah the r client cli guide the cli which is more easier to set up you just have like to copy paste everything so you have to put the sudo up update and then the up upgrade that's why and then it's installing and then after that, we install the Node.js and npm with these commands. And then after that, we'll have to set up the installation. This is quite easy. I, I was actually like preparing a guide on how to run this one using a remote desktop. But good thing that Rivals uh, updated the, our client CLI which is far more easier to set up as you can see it's still on the progress so for now we'll just go to the rivals discord oh it's 80 percent and let's let's proceed with the next one or i think it's taking a little bit more of a time here yeah. so we go to the rivals discord and then let's see some updates so yeah the the epoch system just went up this is the the latest one it was uh for the video recording it went up like 22 minutes ago so let's set it up or let's see first on how is it's 95 percent so let's just check this out real quick and we keep checking on the progress still in 95 percent so yeah so this is their epoch system like we are on the first epoch so the second one will be on 11th July until August, then August, also the epoch is on the whole August. So we can expect that the second epoch will be until July 31st, and then the third epoch is going to be on the whole August for September, yeah. So the purpose of this one is to implement significant change to the points per hour system calculation with the epoch system would cause imbalance and reduced returns for participants with points mined in earlier stage. By using Epoch, we maintain a balance. Oh yeah, true. Ensuring the current system is always up to date and scales effectively with the agents farming our client. True. Oh, so we are still on the 
So let's check out more on their latest announcements. So oh, we, we we are going to be having a uh, Jack Mac session tomorrow on July 10, 3 p.m. UTC. So if you're living like in Hong Kong time, it's around 11 p.m. Philippines time and Hong Kong time is like the same. So it's 11 p.m. Oh, and it's done. So let's go back to setting it up. Uh, let's go back to setting it up. So we had installed the sudo apt upgrade and we'll now go to the setting up the node.js and npm. You just copy this one. Everything is going to be posted on the description anyways. So we paste that. We install it. It's going to prompt but uh, it, 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 it's it will uh, put out a uh, depreciation warning but you can just wait for it it's gonna be installing anyways so it's installing maybe the, the dish process will take about like 10 to 15 minutes and the, the dish one the if you will be updating or before you install the uh, R nodes or the R the CLI client so yep to successfully install node.js so we're gonna be installing the node.js so you just copy paste this everything is gonna be pasted on the description so now we are installing the node.js and after that we install the npm It's going to take a little bit more time again. So let's go back to the announcements. Even, yeah, this one is the CLI. It went out like 3 p.m. on my time. So good thing that uh, this one went up because I just bought a Ubuntu, uh, sorry, a Contabo VPS. Anyways, if you set it up using a remote desktop, it's also okay. But uh, they, this this CLI uh, our client CLI saves a lot of memory, so you you can run other nodes as well after you had run this one. Oh, installed successfully. So let's go back. Let's go back. So let's install the npm now. We go and install the npm. Unable to prep plugins, you have held broken the fault installation of element deprecencies. Yep, this all you, you can just like uh, ignore those one and we can check out the nodes. Let's verify. So, yep, node V, we, we got the V1620.2 and then the NPM just for verification only okay so once you have set this up this one the one that i'm going to be posting on the description after this after you have verified that it's been installed you can now start installing the client so you just copy this one you just need to copy this and then paste it up everything is quite easy since everything is, uh, all the scripts has been made, like, very, very nice. And you don't need to do, like, those those programming stuff. I, myself, is not very good with that, to be honest. So, I'm very, very thankful for the person who made this uh, CLI guide. It will take you about 15 minutes to just run the client. So, we just wait for this one to be set up. For this one and then we can proceed with the, this one it, after the our client has been installed it's gonna ask us different questions such as like your wallet address please be informed by the way that you cannot change your wallet address if you have set it up so meaning like your 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 wallet address should be the same like if you're planning to run several clients then it's it all needs to be the same so we are installing then we wait for it to finish so for now I'm be gonna be copying my wallet address so 
So, I had copied my wallet address at 28 here, so it's gonna be more easy. And if you feel like sending some tokens to me on this wallet address on my EVM address, feel free to do so. And then I'm gonna be very thankful to that. And let's see. Oh, while, while this, uh, while it takes its time installing, then let's peep out the Discord. Let's go to the testnet channel and then maybe we can shout out some people in here. There are several good people in this Discord that they are more than willing to help you guys if you face any problem. I myself did ask several questions in here before I did this video. And they are all very nice. You can create yeah, memes, useful content. Yeah, so if you want to get roles in the Discord, yeah, you make videos like me. I'm currently making a very easy guide, like video guide, because some people I noticed that they are still getting confused on some. I myself got confused on several, like, come on, since if you are not really, like, uh, uh, familiar with setting up nodes and such, like myself, I'm a very new, uh, I'm, I'm fairly new to this setting up nodes so yeah it's very very helpful if like you just see a video which will tell you what to do and, and such so yep we are getting several warnings blah 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 yada yada but just just uh i mean like you can ignore this one and then we just wait until the this installation process finished and then this is gonna be asked so yeah, I think we are almost done installing this one. So this guide is basically just like a copy paste. If you will just follow those, uh, this guide, then I don't think that it's gonna be uh, very difficult for anyone to run this. So let's read the facts first before, like while 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 it installs. So how do I update the client's information? Because the only thing that you cannot update in here is like your your wallet address. You cannot change that as I have said before. So you can change the core numbers, RAM size, and uh, the disk type. You can change those. And except for the wallet address. I got message from the client. The client CLI has a new version. So if, if it has a new version, then you just type the rivals update. And finally, you can rival H to show command. Yeah, this one, if you want to show all the commands on it. So I'm going to be posting this one also in the description. So if in case like you don't need to hop on, hop off. If you have any question, then you just go to the description side. So, yep, get 200 registry. I think it's almost done. So we can expect more from rivals so we have to join tomorrow's uh, session so we get the updated one those guys so we see here see this guy or cat human is like running free three r clients me i'm running like three r clients also but uh Ever since I knew that I can run this one via VPS, then I just choose to run it via VPS. Otherwise, it will wreck my laptop. I'm, I'm just using laptop, so yeah. So, yep, now we had installed this one. We have installed the Rivals node CLI, so we go for the Rivals run. Just copy this one. Rivals on. By the way, guys, you just press the right click button of your mouse to paste everything that you had copied in, in, in the putty. Putty, yeah, putty. So now it asks for our uh, EVM address. So we'll just put it here. This one. press enter and then it will ask us on how many cores of CPU that we want to use we use four and then RAM size all in 
SSD. We use the SSD. And just enter. It will ask us if there is a serial number you want to use. But we just skip it off. And just, yeah. Enter the disk size or uh, drive of uh, SSD. So I'm going to be putting 100 since it's the max one. I'm, I'm using all max. And there we go. Now we are connecting. Yep. As we can see that we have successfully set up the uh, client C, our client CLI. So if you see this one, then is you have successfully installed it correctly. Yes, it will display the show image. So now we 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 are done setting this up. Then we check now on our rivals if we can validate it let's go if now it came up this is the the one that we just set up our client and we just go for the validation not validated we press validate and there we go Congratulations, the following client has been validated and you are done setting up the client. So now we, uh, I have four. This is the fourth one which is running for zero minutes and then this is the other one which I had set up. Then you may close this one now. You may close this one now. And then I will show you a command like how to check up, check on it if it is still running. We may close this one and log, uh, log it in again using the same putty. Okay. <clears throat> so now we are back. And if you want to check on if your nodes is running, then you just simply need to type this one. Rivals run and then it will run the our client and then you can see if it is running properly or not if it's running properly you will see uh, an option like you will you will see this one you will see this one so we'll just have to wait connecting to other nodes yep being master node so that's how you check on if it is running properly or not if it's not running anymore or like if you had made something wrong with your uh, uh, setup then you will see this one validation red, red red messages so that's about it that that's how you set up a rival cli our client cli which is very 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 easy than setting it up by a remote desktop so i'll be seeing you on the next video